Hey guys, it's Weather Duct here, and today I have a craft update. So I believe this is craft update number 12. So yeah, let's get started. So first I have a custom order for, I think his name was Rajesh, but I'm not sure. Um, he ordered two wallets, so I'm going to start off with the trifold. Um, it is hot pink and it has the nerd design. And this was a remake from one of my other designs, like one of my previous wallets that I made. I believe that one was in the pressing wallets tutorial. And I did a version of this, but as a bifold, and he wanted it as a trifold. So it is just that with the design, and the whole outside is clear taped with teal billfold, and the bottom is clear taped. And it just has my basic trifold layout with the ID, and behind of it is nerds. And then you also have the go through and the hidden three card pockets and the two card pockets. And it does fold evenly on both sides, but it's more, it's easier with the velcro on this side. So there you go, and I hope you like that. So looks really nice. Next, he ordered a woman's executive clutch. So here it is. It's um, patchwork, or what is this called? Prairie patchwork, with the name Rhea on the front, with um, baby pink or bubblegum pink, and outlined with silver, uh, sorry, blue glitter, and um, entire outside is clear taped and lined up. Then you have bubblegum pink, and then I did baby pink card, uh, sorry, expandables, which is all over the place, with a baby pink zipper and paisley coin pouch. The bottom has no sticky, and all the seams are clear taped as per usual. Then this flips open and you have nine card pockets, the ID, and the bill fold right here, and the bottom is clear taped as well. So that's that. I hope you like the wallets and thank you so much for ordering. Okay, so I have a custom order for Tamara and she requested for a woman's executive clutch with um, cotton candy clouds on the outside and it's all clear taped over. Then it's got baby pink and it's got the zipper, coin pouch, the two expandable sections, and then this part opens with Velcro, and it has Eurostage pockets and baby pink trim with nine car pockets ID and a billfold. So I ran out of the Eurostage and I wasn't able to do the coin pouch, but I still really like how this turned out. I think it actually looks better with the outside pattern in here, so I might start doing that for the rest of my executive women's clutches. But um, yeah, I really like how this wallet turned out. And yeah, so thank you Tamara for ordering. Finally, I have a woman's wallet. So here it is. It is anchors on the outside and I lined up the stripes. But unfortunately, um, like when you open it, the anchors are facing the wrong way because I did a tutorial on this. If you checked out last week's video and Tutorials never work out great for me, like the wallet doesn't turn out as nice as if I made it not in a tutorial, if you know what I mean. So, because it just distracts me, I think, the fact that I'm doing a tutorial. So, the trims aren't as nice as, um, or as even as my trims normally are, but overall the wallet quality is still pretty good. So it just has six vertical card pockets with an ID slot. Uh, six horizontal card pockets and as you can tell the um, like placing of the pockets aren't as straight either like the spacing I mean and then there are the two bill folds and the outside hasn't been clear taped yet just because I think I won't be selling this wallet um, so yeah um, it's not like it's bad it's just that because it was in a tutorial, it wasn't. It isn't my best quality, and so I don't want to sell something that isn't of great quality. So yeah, that's the end of this craft update. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.